Good morning guys, welcome back to a brand new weekly vlog. Last week I was in Birmingham, if you saw, I went to the world's biggest Primark, so I'll leave that linked if you wanted to see it, and then I've just sort of set up now to film my Primark haul that I'm doing following it, so that'll have just been uploaded. So today is Thursday, and I wanted to start this week's weekly vlog with a very big thank you, because a company called Provocan kindly reached out to me and wanted to collaborate with me on this video, so basically I just wanted to introduce to you the brand, the concept, what it is I'm using, why I'm using it, and what sort of first got me interested in it. So I'm going to keep it fairly rapid because for those of you that don't suffer with anxiety, depression, or have no interest in trying it for yourself, then we'll get on with the weekly vlog. But firstly, let me just show you the product. So this is how the packaging arrives. This is a CBD oil. So it is a cannabis oil, which essentially doesn't have the THC element, which gets you high. So I've never tried cannabis. and It's not like I'm doing this to get high because it doesn't work like that. This is essentially like a natural oil based product, which you can consume. You put one drop, shake it before use, put one drop, below your tongue or anywhere between one to ten depending on your needs leave it in your mouth for 30 seconds and with just a couple of drops it actually tastes quite nice but with just a couple of drops it's very like absor it absorbs into your mouth so you don't really need to swallow it they recommend between two to four drops per use this is 1200 milligrams which contains 200 drops per bottle ingredients are hemp extract and olive oil you keep it in a nice cool dry place and it's been tested quite a lot recently in terms of it has loads of like health benefits i'm not a scientific person i don't know the ins and outs of it i don't know how it works exactly so i will leave the website down below for you to have a look but i first saw the use of cbd oil used as like an anti-anxiety type medication on Tamar's video. She's an Irish influencer that's now based in New York. I'll see if I can find her video and link it below because she did a full video about like how it's helped with her anxiety and how she uses it. But like I said, if you go to the website, all the information is on there. You can find a frequently asked questions section as well, which just has loads of really useful information. This one is $69.99, but I do have a discount code for 15% off, which is Freya. I'll leave all that information down below if you did want to try it out and use it for yourself you can use that discount code it's also said to help cure those who suffer from acne and even heart disease and i know there's lots of testing going on with it helping cancerous patients because something to do with the fact that it stops the stem cells from like duplicating or something like that again i'm not really a scientist i don't know the ins and outs of it it is a natural alternative for pain medication as well if you're somebody who prefers to use natural remedies as opposed to uh, like paracetamol over-the-counter drugs check it out i'm gonna be testing it myself for as and when i feel like i'm feeling a little bit anxious i'm gonna try it out this kind of flows quite nicely into a product that i received in the mail pr package yesterday from keels it's releasing on the 23rd of april at an rrp of 38 pounds exclusive to selfridges they have created a cannabis sativa seed oil herbal concentrate with blemish prone skin so again it's a natural remedy to help cure acne this is something that you can have in addition to this so they're two completely separate products this one you can intake like, with the way that i did it with just a couple of drops under the tongue and this is for your skin so again if you are a sufferer of acne and it's something that you perhaps want to try then do keep your eyes peeled for this when it comes out i love keel's products keel's skincare is one of my favorites so this is a little uh, press release if you did want to read it and they even sent i'm guessing this is like the hemp extract or something i don't know or it's just herbs i don't know it smells good anyway whatever it is hi guys welcome back to a brand new video today i am bringing you my biggest ever from the world's biggest primark store primark haul So alongside my little cannabis collection here, I've since found out this is oregano. 
Joni Clothing have very kindly gifted me a couple of bits from their website. They have sent me two items. Firstly, this, which is going to be so pretty in spring summertime. Very girly and cute and pretty. It's like a tea dress in a UK 10. If I do wear this on Instagram, of course, we'll tag Joni Clothing, but I just feel like it's not quite warm enough just yet. A little bit different for me, but it's still like neutral colours in terms of just black and white. And then they have also sent me this dress in this quite a dark leopard print they're like three quarter length sleeves cinches in at the waist the buttons are all black and it's the same material so they're very subtle they're kind of like hidden in there i feel like this could be quite a nice office dress also in a size 10 oh my god it's called croissant color yum i want a croissant now speaking of which it's 12 7 so i'm gonna go grab some lunch from booths have a little walk outside because look at that sky it's incredibly sunny and beautiful and I have filmed my Primark course, so I'm just putting everything away. Good morning guys, today is Sunday. I had yesterday a full day of hinching. I videoed it as well, so the house is fully clean and fresh and feeling good for spring. It smells amazing as well. So that video should be up very soon. This morning, I'm, oh, I even picked up these pretty spring flowers. This morning I'm gonna head across to get some breakfast and somewhere because we have no food in so I need to get some fuel for my body. Tom's playing cricket in a place called Lytham this afternoon so one of you guys messaged me saying I know you like thrifting and she said that there are quite a few charity shops in Lytham. It is Sunday so I don't have hope that they'll all be open but I figured whilst Tom is playing cricket there and seeing as though I had a full day in yesterday filming, working, cleaning, I need to get out today. So I'm going to head over there a bit later on have a browse around the charity shops watch Tom play cricket and then probably that'll go on till this evening so that's my plan for today so I thought I'd bring you along with me because it could be quite fun to have a browse around Lytham charity shops got myself a little breakfast pastry I've had some coffee I thought I'd just open up these couple of parcels that have just arrived from Amazon so if you didn't know Amazon you can buy like fashion items and stuff on there like their own branded ones and sold by Amazon. So they very kindly gift myself and a lot of other influencers a monthly voucher of which we can spend. So I picked up two items. Firstly, I got myself a blazer from the range called Find. And it's this gorgeous, okay, it needs an iron. <laughs> it's this gorgeous like beige double-breasted style blazer with like tortoise shell buttons. I thought this is just gonna be a staple. I don't have that many blazers. So I thought this was gonna be a staple to just like throw on with an outfit. Just like smartens up an outfit a bit, but also, you know, you can like dress it down with a very casual outfit and some trainers. Set of two basic white tees and secondly, a beige cardi. The knit of this feels really nice. It's kind of like a, is it a bit mal? I don't know. This is actually really nice. I'm impressed with this. It's quite short, which I kind of wanted. I don't have anything like this. So that'll be a nice addition to my wardrobe. These are like a nice, not really scoop neck. Well, kind of like semi scoop neck, I'd say. Really soft. I wanted that loose fit fabric that can just kind of fall quite nicely, tucked into some high-waisted mom jeans and a belt and crossbody bag. That in spring is going to be just a go-to basic outfit for me, like shopping. I just love simple. Less is more, and so I'm glad these came in a pack of two because, let's face it, white doesn't stay white for very long. I have listed just a couple more items over on my Depop. If you're yet to check it out, Freya Farrington, you can find me over on there. I like to replace new with old and the old for me isn't like a typical old like a lot of people when they have a clear out their things are probably very old mine might have just been worn once or twice so they go straight over on depop or to the charity shop and if you actually spot anything of mine that you like and you don't see on depop but you're interested in buying it let me know because if it's something that I'm like, it's in my wardrobe, not really sure. Just let me know and if you wanna buy it and if I'm undecided, I might just sell it to you anyway. So yeah, 
just message me on Instagram if ever you do want to do that. So I'm going to finish off my little break breakfast pastry that I've got waiting for me up there. I've just put in a big mango order. This is the first ever mango haul I've ever filmed, but I'm a big fan. I went to the one in Birmingham when we went to the world's biggest Primark store. Myself and Lydia, we popped into mango. I was obsessed with everything in there, like everything new in. But I also got a couple of bargains from the mango outlet website. So I'm going to do all of that within a big mango haul and then head on to Lytham. Trying to see if cars have got paying display tickets with it being a Sunday. I finally made it. I didn't know where I was going and without my phone, I sat nav on. I, I have no idea, I've never been here before. So I was uh, getting a bit panicked because I was down to like the red zone and then it got to like, it's at like 12% now. So I'm not even gonna go on my phone because I haven't even made it to the cricket club yet, although I think that's just down the road. I'm gonna have a quick look at the few charity shops now, and then if I do get anything, I will let you know.
that one all done in leather now it was actually pretty good for thrifting I didn't buy loads I did refrain myself but I did buy a couple of bits so I'm actually going to include that within a separate thrifting video cricket field is just there so I've just pulled up I was parked outside just in case the cricket ball ends up going a bit too far protect the car although it could even get hit here so i'm not going to take my camera with me because you guys probably don't want to watch cricket it's bad enough me watching it but <laughs> to have you guys watch it as well mm -mm. i'm really tired i'm having one of those moments where i'm just like parked outside and i've been here about 10 minutes but just on my phone on instagram right i'm gonna go chapter 32 happy monday although obviously it's probably not monday by the time you're watching this it might be a completely different day but today we are heading off just checking i've got my coat in the back myself and tom are going to a place called hebden bridge which has a few charity shops now he's going for a meeting but i figured i'd go along for the ride we're going to grab some lunch as well at some point although it's like 12 now so it's probably going to be more like an early dinner uh lunch or dinner for me dinner is evening um anyway so yeah i just have a couple of bits i need to post on route and then we're gonna have a lovely day in hebden bridge hopefully i can find some more bits to include within the thrift haul that i'm planning on filming very soon we got everything we need right here wine and burning chemistry you and me Wednesday and I am just about to run out and grab some lunch I'm still makeup free I still need to do all my hair and makeup and everything because I'm heading into Manchester today with uh, Pop Beauty they're treating us to an evening at Gaucho we're gonna go have a nice meal and learn a bit more about some beauty products and I'm currently packing to shoot with Lydia beforehand and you can see a theme going on here beiges, whites, creams, that kind of thing for like spring, summer is me all over. Excuse the bra. My outfit I'm wearing tonight is a Lovi suit with my YSL. I've got a couple of mango bits here and my Louis and then some Primark bits here, H&M. So I'm a bit more glam than when you last saw me. I've done all my hair and makeup. I just used the Babyliss curling tongs to curl my hair, put a bit of Moroccan oil in the ends just to like separate the curls. Finish it with the Neil and Wolf finishing hairspray. And then I'm actually wearing a jumpsuit, boiler suit type thing from Mango. And then necklace, this one is Primark. This one down here is Ana Luisa. This one is Lovies. My earrings, which I'm obsessed with, cute little shell and gold beading are also Lovies. And the ring, that is Vashi. The middle one is Primark. In fact, the rest of Primark, yeah. So that is what I'm wearing. I am gonna put on some trainers and it's quite warm outside, so I'm really happy about that. I did think I'd just pop on here before going to Manchester and do a weekly giveaway, because I didn't do one last week and I didn't wanna miss it because today is the last day of the weekly vlog. As we're going for an evening dinner, 
I probably won't end off the vlog here later. It'll be pitched back. It'll be too late. I might forget. So I figured I might as well just do it now. So this week I've just rummaged through my giveaway drawer and found a couple of makeup kind of goodies. This first one is a limited edition Real Techniques brush set. So there's lots of different brush and sponges in there. And then I also am going to include some lashes. These are the Ardell Studio FX one. And then considering who we're going to dinner with tonight is Pop Beauty, which I've never used before. I believe they're a sister company all under the same umbrella as Pixie by Petra, who are very generous with their gifting. And I have this palette, which I've never used and still brand new sparkling condition which was in the unit so i thought i would give it to you guys and include it within this giveaway it is the eye reflection shadow palette in natural beauty so all you need to do to enter is be subscribed hit the notification bell comment down below with some form of contact whether it be an email or a twitter or instagram handle so i can reach out to the winner in a week's time so best of luck to everyone who enters literally golden hour it's so warm and it's like four-ish and yeah, it's so warm in Manchester right now. Honestly, the sun on my face is just delightful. I've just uh, parked up, Lydia's just moving her car to park next to me. We're like right in a corner here, so that when we do a quick car change, because we're not going to our event in this outfit, so we're gonna change before going to the event. When there's a car parking space right in the corner, might as well just get changed in the car. <laughs> I bet she's gonna think it's a tight space. There she is. You'll get in there. Yep, she thought, she thought that space was too tight, so she's gone somewhere else. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go shoot this outfit now, maybe grab a bite to eat or like a coffee or something before heading on to the event later. Can you say hi? I didn't even know. Hi. I like oh, what you're wearing. Nice. Thank you. It's nice. Yeah. Very me, very beige. Oh, okay. We've just come for a quick pit stop. The music's quite loud, so, well, it's not, but copyright. <laughs> YouTube problem. So we just got ourselves a little single gin and slimline tonic. We've got about half an hour. Before, well, we're driving. We're not boring. We're being sensible, Sally. So cheers, Dad. It's good, isn't it? Oh, my lipstick's gross. Why didn't you tell me? Not telling you next time. Cars, which is a bit of a pain, but we're gonna have to do that and then head into the event. So, yeah, I just thought I'd update you. Oast House we're in, which is my first ever time one of you guys recognized me was in Oast House. If you are still watching, let me know. Aww. Probably not, but you know, maybe you are. We're heading on into the event now. We've just moved our cars. Do you want to do a quick OOTD? Do you want to do yours? Yeah, okay. So people always so, ask. What's Lydia wearing? I saw that in your vlog the other day. Yeah, people it. always ask what you're wearing. Um, so Ralph Lauren, blazer, Zara earrings, new look black t-shirt, Saint Laurent bag, Zara pants and Zara shoes. Oh, what are you wearing? I'm wearing my new Lobie suit, which actually Lydia got today Also is wearing. Thank God we're not, not wearing, wearing today, either. yeah. Um, my Primani little sandal slip on mules. Uh, this is Lobie's as well, this top actually, so it's all Lobie's. Mm -hmm. And then my YSL. Beautiful. Yes, yeah, I'm going to take my jacket for open Oh, because <laughs> she's a vlogger. <laughs> And it's our sister band, quite literally, as Petra Strand, who's the founder of Pixie. It's her sister who is the creative director of Pop. <laughs> We're out. 
Say goodnight, Lydia. Oh, I'm jealous that your car's parked here. I'm gonna have to walk around the corner. Bye, I'll see you. Next week, next Wednesday, bye. I am gonna round off this week's weekly vlog here. There's a lot of people around. I don't want any drunken people taking my camera. So, thank you so much for watching this week's weekly vlog. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I know I'm not in focus, terribly sorry about that. Gonna head home now, go to bed. <laughs>